when we don't have time to work out the exact answer to a calculation, or if we don't have a calculator available and we want to know an approximate answer, we can use estimation. These questions say work out an estimate for the value of, and the first one is 38.7 times 5.8 over divided by 10.25. We usually round to one significant figure, round each of the numbers in the calculation to one significant figure to make the calculation as easy as possible. So we're aiming to make it as simple as possible so we don't have to use a calculator or don't have to use any written methods. So for 38.7, our first number, we're going to round it to one significant figure. So we're looking for the first non-zero number, which is our 30, this 3. And we look at the number after it and ask, is it 5 or above? If it is 5 or above, we're going to round up. And if it isn't, we're going to leave it as it is. So 8 is 5 or above. So we're going to round our 30 up to a 40. So we're going to round 38.7 to 40. So we're going to say this is approximately equal to 40 times, we've got 5.8. The first non-zero number is 5. It's gone 8 after it, so it's going to round up, and that becomes 6. And we're dividing by 10.25. The first non-zero number is the 1, so the, we've got a 10 here. This is worth 10. It's got a 0 after it. So it's not going to round up, so it's going to stay as 10. So we've got 40 times 6 divided by 10. So we've got an easy calculation to do now. 4 times 6 is 24. So 40 times 6 is 240. And we're dividing that by 10. 240 over 10 is 24. So 38.7 times 5.8 divided by 10.25 is approximately 24. For the second one, we've got 19.2 times the square root of 98 over 0 0.48. So again, to one significant figure, our first non-zero number is the 1, the 10 here. It's got a 9 after it. That is 5 or above, so it rounds up, and it will round up to a 20. So that's 20 plus, so 98 is going to round to 100. And the square root of 100, so we write square root of 100. And 0 0.48, the first non-zero number isn't a zero, it's the four tenths here, and it's got an eight after it, so it's five or above, it rounds up, so it'll round up to five, 0 0.5, five tenths. So we've got 20 plus the square root of 100 over 0 0.5. So we wouldn't have had to round 98 to one significant figure, we would have rounded it to the nearest square number. In this case, it happens to be the same. But what we're looking to do is make our calculation as easy as possible. So we need a number that we can square root, and 100 happens to be both one significant figure and a number we can square root. So square root of 100 is 10. So we've got 20 plus 10 over 0 0.5. 20 plus 10 is 30, so 30 over 0 0.5. So how many 0 0.5s go into 30? If we don't want a decimal in a division, we can change it as long as we do the same to the top and the bottom. So if you multiply the top and the bottom by 2, you can get rid of the decimal from the calculation. So 30 times 2 is 60. Two 0.5s are 1. 
So 60 divided by 1 is 60. So our answer is 60. This is approximately 60. Two for you to try here, so pause the video and give them a go. So we're rounding them all to one significant figure, 52.4. So the first non-zero number is the, the 50. It's got a 2 after it, so it stays as it is. So it's going to stay as 50. 3.1, the first non-zero number is a 3. It's got a 1 after it, so it stays as it is. And 4.87, 4 is the first non-zero number. It's got an 8 after it, so it rounds up to 5. 50 times 3 is 150. 150 over 5. 15 over 5 is 3, so 150 over 5 is 30. And we've got 19.2 plus 5.14 over 0 0.19. So 19.2, the 10 is the first non-zero number, the 1, which is worth 10. It's got a 9 after it, so it rounds up to a 2, which is worth 20. 5.14, so that's going to be 5. 20 plus 5, and 0 0.19, the first non-zero number is the 1 tenth. It's got a 9 after it, so it rounds up to 2 tenths. So we've got 25 over 0 0.2. So how many 0 0.2s go into 25? We can get rid of the fraction by multiplying top and bottom by, we could do 10, but we could also do 5. So multiply top and bottom by 5. That will get rid of the fraction because 5 0.2s are 1, 5 25s are 125, so 125 over 1 is 125. Here we've got a different question. Two people use a calculator to work out the value of 158.4 over 25.16 plus 3.8 squared. One person gets an answer of 4, the other gets 0 0.4. Use approximations to work out which answer is correct. So we're going to estimate the answer to this and see if 4 or 0 0.4 is a more realistic answer. So let's round these numbers to one significant figure and see what we get. So the first non-zero number is this 100. It's got a 5 after it, so it's going to round up. So it'll be 200 on top. We've got the first non-zero number for 25.16 is our 20, our 2. It's got a 5 after it, so it's going to round up to a 3. So it'll be a 30. And we've got 3.8 squared. The first non-zero number's 3. It's got an 8 after it, so it rounds up to 4. So we've got 4 squared. So we've got 200 over 30 plus 4 squared, which is 16, which is 200 over 46. Now that's a complicated sum. We don't want to do 200 over 46, we're estimating. So we can round the 46 up again to 50. So 200 over 50. How many 50s go into 200? That's four. So four is likely to be the correct answer. Okay, one for you to try. So pause the video and give it a go. Two people use a calculator to work out the value of. We've got 980. So 9 in the hundreds, that's the first non-zero number. 
It's got an 8 after it, so it's going to round up, and that's going to become 1,000. We've got 9.36. 9 is the first non-zero number. It's got a 3 after it, so it stays as it is. And we've got 3.2 squared. 3 is the first non-zero number. It's got a 2 after it, so it stays as it is. So we've got 1,000 over 9 plus 9. So 1,000 over 18. Again, that's complicated. We don't want to do that. So we'll round the 18 up to a 20. So 1,000 over 20. And we can divide top and bottom by 10. So 100 over 2, which is 50. So again, 50 was one of the answers, so that is likely to be the correct one. Here's a different question. Estimate the area of the rectangle. So we've got the measurements, 9.25 metres and 4.31 metres. So we're going to work out an estimate for the area. So 9.25 is approximately equal to... 9. So to one significant figure, that's 9. To one significant figure, 4.31 is 4. So 9 times 4 is 36. And the measurements are in metres, so metres squared. Is your answer an overestimate or an underestimate? So is my answer lower or higher? than the real answer. So we rounded 9.25 down to 9. We rounded 4.31 down to 4. So we've rounded both of the numbers down. So we're going to get a lower answer than the actual answer. So because it's under the actual answer, we call that an underestimate. The actual answer will be bigger than 36. Okay, one for you to try. So give it a go. Someone works for 19 hours a week and they get paid £9.80 per hour. Estimate how much they get paid each week. So 19 hours to one significant figure is 20. And £9.80 per hour to one significant figure is 10. So 20 hours at £10 an hour. So 20 lots of 10 is 200. So it's approximately, roughly, £200 a week. Is your answer an overestimate or an underestimate? So this time we rounded 19 up to 20 and £9.80 up to £10. So we've overestimated. They're going to get less than £200 a week. So we've overestimated. The actual answer will be lower than £200. OK, to finish up, we've got two questions. So pause the video, give them a go and press play when you're ready for the answers. Question one, work out an estimate for the value of 21.7 times 4.963 over 0 0.0955. So the first non-zero number for 21.7 is the two, the 20. It's got a one after it, so it doesn't round up. So it stays as 20. For 4.963, the first is 4. It's got a 9 after it, so it rounds up to 5. And for 0 0.0955, the first non-zero numbers are 9. It's got a 5 after it, so it's 5 or above. It rounds up, and that will go to what would be 0 0.1. So we've got 20 times 5 over 0 0.1. 20 times 5, two fives are 10, so 20 fives are 100. 100 over 0 0.1, we don't want to divide by a decimal, 
So to get rid of the decimal, we can multiply top and bottom by 10, which is 1,000 over 1, which is just 1,000. 1,000 divided by 1 is 1,000. Question 2. Someone works for 32 hours a week. They get paid £21.50 per hour. Estimate how much they get paid in a week. So to one significant figure, that's 30 hours at £20 an hour. So we're going to do 30 times 20. 3 times 2 is 6. We've got two zeros. So that's 600. So it's 600 pounds. Is that an overestimate or an underestimate? So we rounded both of these numbers down. So the actual answer will be 32 times 21.5. The actual answer will be higher. So we've underestimated.